Um, at Wheaton College, I have opportunities to speak with uh, budding theologians and uh, young students who are on their way to graduate school and eventually may do a PhD in, in uh, New Testament. And, uh, and I think back on the advice I did get and didn't get um, when I was at the same age, and I try to give them some direction. And I think there are some things which I think are essential. And uh, I think the first is language study. Um, I was fortunate that when I was an undergraduate, um, I met uh, an enchanting teacher who was from Athens, and he uh, inspired me to work in Greek. Um, uh, he convinced me somehow that Greek was God's language. Uh, it's amazing. But I fell in love with Greek, and I think that really did shape me. Um, Hebrew, of course, is an essential language as well for us to understand the, uh, the Old Testament scriptures, but also we have to remember that the New Testament writers are people who were reading Hebrew texts and Aramaic texts. So I can't underscore that enough. Um, if a student is devoted to New Testament studies or biblical studies, really, um, the mastery of language is essential. Uh, someone has said that uh, uh, you really only know a language when you can write it. It isn't a question so much of reading the New Testament. We know the New Testament well, and so therefore we are filling in so often from our memory of the English text when we read the Greek New Testament. But instead, someone has said, you know, you know, it's when you can begin to write in Greek or you can begin to write in Hebrew and you construct your own sentences, then suddenly you have an instinct for the language that someone doesn't normally have. So for I think for um, sort of up and coming students, this is always the advice I give to them. Uh, the second is, um, is that I think that um, uh, I wish I had been told more, and, uh, and I tell my students this now, I think we have to approach our interpretation of the New Testament with a degree of humility. Um, that so often when we interpret the New Testament, we are doing so out of our culture, with our presuppositions as Enlightenment Westerners. And um, I would urge all of my students to have some kind of cross-cultural experience. For me, it was traveling to the Middle East a lot. Um, for some, it's going to Latin America. But I think when you have a rich cross-cultural experience, um, you begin to see that you view the world through a set of lenses which are unique to your world. And so we sometimes, I think, are exegetes that lack humility. So I think it would be really good for my up-and-coming students to always have that kind of experience so that they realize there are different voices in the world when reading the New Testament. And, uh, and that helps us to have conversations with global Christians, which uh, otherwise we would never have. <laughs>